Hey guys, I'm Kyle with Rhino. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to adjust the backlash on the tilt axis of Rhino Arc 2. The gearbox that we use on the tilt motor for Arc 2 only has 15 arc minutes of backlash in it when there's no load on it. That's only about a quarter of a degree. It's extremely precise. But what we do to minimize that backlash even more is that we have a clamp that goes on it and the adjustment screw is on the outside of the unit and this clamp mitigates that backlash in your footage. So to adjust that, we typically adjust it from the factory for DSLR use, but if you do see a jump in your footage as you're going over the center point, you might need to tension it a little bit more. So let's take a 2.5 millimeter hex wrench. Here is the hole that you want to insert into. Tighten this bolt about a quarter of a turn at a time until your footage is looking good and you're happy with it. Now with some heavier setups, when you're approaching that 15 pound load limit, you don't wanna tighten this too much because it'll actually stall out the motor if you reef on it all the way. And if you still notice some backlash when you're using a very heavy camera, we recommend to load up your weight to one side or to the other of the center point of your move so that during your move, you're not actually crossing that threshold where you're pivoting where the backlash is happening. So either load up to the front or load up to the rear. You might need to use a longer 501 plate to achieve this so that you can move the weight of your camera forward or towards the rear. Hope this helps. If you guys have any questions further about this, please reach out at support at rhinocg.com.